Hey gamer, hello friends, it's Mac and I'm back, this time with Diablo 4. You know, I just want to throw this video up and uh, use it as a way for me to brain dump about uh, Diablo 4, which I haven't really done since the game came out a year ago. And I wanted to just brain dump a little bit and talk about season four and my experiences with the current season while, while just grinding away on my barbarian who is only at level 85. We're uh, over a month into the current season and I'm still uh, working away on my first character. Meanwhile, I think everyone and their dog has already uh, uh, gone to level 100 with multiple characters. I just haven't had the, the time to play as much as I wanted to. And and play more of this game, I very much want to do. <sighs> so, yeah. I have streamed this game in the in the, in the the past. Mostly it's been playing co-op with uh, followers of the channel, of, of the Twitch channel. And I uh, haven't really had a chance to really just reflect on the game itself and where the game's at and my my growing, I guess, enjoyment of the game once again. Mm. So I'm playing a, a Thorn Barbarian, or what I think a Thorn Barbarian should be like. Uh, please feel free to comment uh, below if I'm doing it all wrong. I'm sure I am. Uh, but I start off... I, I had my goal the whole time was to give the Barbarian a fair shake since I really haven't uh, played a whole lot of Barbarian. Um, it, it's never been my favorite class ever since uh, Diablo 2. I kind of ignored it. I much preferred playing the Amazon or the Demon Hunter or the Rogue in, in Diablo 4 in particular. And every time I tried playing Barbarian in the past, I found them kind of squishy. I, I was definitely doing it wrong. I was playing the squishiest, most glass cannon. Not even a glass cannon, because I wasn't doing a whole lot of damage. I, I was just weak. And so I got really turned off by the Barbarian for the longest time. Particularly in Diablo 3. For some bizarre reason, I had a really bad experience. The, the few times I tried to run a Barbarian, I just didn't have the patience for it anymore. It was just this weird, almost like a mental block. Um... But uh, with the start of Season 4 and hearing how they had improved so many things, uh, adding a bunch of quality of life improvements as well as just revamping their loot system, I decided, well, I'm not going to play another Rogue and the other classes aren't really appealing to me right this moment. So let's try a Barbarian and let's try and make someone who's more survivable and who can uh, passively hurt uh, his enemies. Therefore, uh, uh, thorns. Okay, let me just assign. I have one uh, paragon point. Uh, I last one I put in was for Bonebreaker on the. Uh, I even forget the name of this paragon board, but it's all about overpower. Um, damage while fortified, but there's a lot of like. Where where is the? Uh, this is a glyph slot. Yeah, overpower damage, and uh, yeah, that that seems to me overpower and fortify effects. So I I thought, well, wh why the heck not? I had already um, picked the. Um, I they should put the name of the board somewhere that you can reference. But anyway, I'm I'm. A few boards into uh, my Paragon progression. And I think I've picked all the boards that I want. I think this last one. This is the last board I'll add. And I'll just, for any future Paragon points, I'll just go back and, and cherry pick. You know, just the, 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 the nodes that will fulfill any of the remaining requirements that I have. Okay, so... As I was saying, I have to allocate one Paragon point. I don't want to put it anywhere here. Do I want to put it into a uh, Bulwark? 
damage reduction. Maybe. Or I could go back to a previous board and see if there's anything I missed. We have this one, which is Destroyer. I don't really, uh, what? I don't know. Maybe I'm overlooking these weapon specific um, nodes. But I haven't really found them to be appealing. So I'm not always using a single type of weapon, right? But you go for this vulnerable damage. This demolish rare node, maybe. I'm not one to follow build guides really all that often. That's one thing you may learn about me over time. I, I've tried doing it playing Diablo 2 Resurrected and uh, I kind of dropped off rather quickly. Speaking of which, I do want to return to my assassin character in uh, D2R at some point. So take a little browse. I mean, this is not critical that I assign the paragon point right this second, but it's just, it's going to nag at me if I don't do it. So I've kind of run my way back to the original uh, board. Hmm. I could, yeah, I like getting more Berserker duration. Since uh, I have a lot of shouts in my uh, skill bar. Pretty much have all three shouts. Very, very key to my build. So I could just grab these remaining um, Berserker nodes. I think I, I think I will do that. There we go. We gotta do some selling. Oh, this is a treasure bag. And we have an elixir cache. So what I've been trying to do is to play a few Nightmare Dungeons per day, given given the uh, uh, short amount of gaming time I have lately. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head back to town first. I did steal a little bit of playtime right after work today to do some side questing. Should I just finish this one off? This Turbulent Water side quest? Maybe I'll do that. There's a town nearby, the, the the objective marker anyway. <sighs> so what do I think of Season 4? Season 4 has been fun. Much more fun than I expected. There, um, the, the, the revamp to loot has been a very welcome change. My god. Uh, let, me, let me sell my uh, shiz first. Not the blacksmith. Where is the vendor? Up, 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 up. Where, where are oh, I have to go inside the hut. Okay. Let's take a quick gander at this gear that I picked up. Um. Well, I like that it has the two sockets. But I do like the uh, unique affix that's on Temerity here. I haven't actually been leveraging this at all. Come to think of it, because I'm not used to guzzling a health potion at full health. But I ought to try it. Oh, maybe I have. Maybe it has been kicking into effect. When I think barrier, I think of the big bubble. Uh, but the barrier is basically any uh, any of that like w wispy, smoky thing that surrounds you, and it falls you around, right? I always think of like the stationary bubble when I when I see the uh, word barrier now. So my bad. I haven't I haven't taken advantage of this, and it's it's quite nice. The Doom Kuises of Concussive Strikes has thorns, which is nice. 
it gives a boost to strength. How how much would my attack power go up if I equipped it? Just a little bit. Not not or shattering amount. Hmm. Same item power. Let me let me get back to this one. I will um favorite it. Uh Doom Treads. Not too special, just a little, bit, a little bit of an armor increase. Very slight. Same with this one. And it's like I would be uh um replacing the aspects on both of these boots. Yeah. This one does increase my attack. This increases my attack power more than the than the uh, the chest piece. Oh, 86 strength. That's why. Interesting. And life goes up. But the uh, um, Yen's blessing, the the unique uh, affix or aspect. Uh, on the, on these boots, is 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 amazing. I love this, and I wish there's a way to uh, gradually upgrade these sacred, unique items. Because I just I'm just hanging on to them for dear life, and I kind of hang on to them much longer, like well past their uh, prime. Because this one's a level sixty item right now, and uh, I'm I'm kind of. Passing on a lot of uh, stronger boots in terms of just like stat boosting boots, just so I can hang on to the, the the unique ability. How do you guys approach that? I'm curious. Anyway, I do have my last couple play sessions. I've just thrown new items I've acquired into my stash as like a deal of this later sort of thing. I think I have a, a, a tab just for those items. I have to be careful that I don't, uh... oh shoot, I have, to, I have to go that way, didn't I? Where's, oh here it is. So, this is this last, I think this last tab. I've just been like, yep, oh, too lazy to look through all my loot right now. I'm in a rush as well. So I'll just uh, save it for later. Now the stuff in this tab, I believe is, oh wow, no, there's some new stuff in here. I think it's this tab. We have some, uh, Older items in here that I'm never gonna use. Yeah, it's stuff like little 60, little 70 ish. These I can feel pretty confident in um, junking to the to the box. I'll just do a I'll just do the first row here. None of them actually give me any um, boost to the, my codex aspects. Or unlocks a new look or anything. This is purely just to get the the materials. It's a material play. That's okay. Let's head back out. We have some uh, waypoints to hit. Oh, I've talked to some people on the way. Yeah. <laughs> What's the swordsman come through here? But that's the pair who sticks out. Can't say I've seen them. But someone must have. I'll keep asking. So I don't know. Prior to season four, you know, I, I tried to play season one, and I think I played the most of season one, and then a little bit of season two, but Not less, and then hardly any season three. And my consistent experience, even near the tail end of the uh, launch window period, was that I would go back to town and sort through all my loot, and I would eventually just fall asleep. I would literally fall asleep in my seat, uh, uh, looking through my loot and sorting things out. 
and I got to the point where I was no longer engaged with building my character at all. And in a game like this, that's not good. Not good at all. Salvage all items, a nice addition, very dangerous function. I it looks looks like I had a uh, Mark this one as a favorite. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of past this prime now. I am going to uh, junk it. Yeah. Okay, now that we've taken care of that, a little bit of busy work. I'm going to... I gotta get rid of this uh, tier 1 sigil. <laughs> uh, World tier 3. No, no. We don't do that anymore. Let's uh, try out this Serrat's Lair. The Blood Blister. This one's not too bad. Having the Blood Blister uh, affix is much less annoying than some of the other ones, I will, I will say. Let's do it. As I was saying, I used to fall asleep whenever I went back to town because sorting through my loot and trying to work out what was going to make my character stronger was tiring and uh, it really was tiring. And being an old uh, old man, that, being the old man that I am, uh, I would just, <laughs> it was a snooze fest, I would uh, fall asleep. Uh, please, maybe I can use elixir, I gotta use more elixirs. Sure, 8% experience gain and 20% uh, resource cost reduction. Sure. Um, this was the first time I'm recording on PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, let me just clear with these enemies first. Oh my goodness. Poison is nasty business. Yeah, I need to up my uh, poison resistance. Big time. Okay, here's a blood bluster. Yeah, so uh, the game uh, Diablo 4 went on sale on Steam. It's been half off like twice in the last, I want to say two months or so. First time it was half off, I didn't bite. This was before uh, Season 4 had gone live. But after I got a taste of Season 4 and I was enjoying myself, I saw it on sale again and that's when I pulled the trigger. Blood bluster, no. Okay, I have to say the nightmare dungeons are getting challenging now. Now that I'm in the uh, early tier 40s, I'm actually at threat of dying sometimes. Which wasn't the case for the first 30 or so nightmare dungeon tiers. Poison's really kicking my ass. Really, really kicking my ass. This blood blister. I'm gonna take a quick look at my resistances. Oh okay, yeah, fire resistance is just awful. I think I can slow down on lightning. Yeah, fire and cold. Poison's actually not too bad. <laughs> yes, the fire, yeah, the fire resistance. This is why I get one shot by the uh, Helltide boss all the time. Cause she, she it seems like she's all about the fire. Okay. 
And so, yeah, I'm playing on PC, and it's great. The whole um, cross-progression has definitely helped sell me on double-dipping. Having a uh, relatively uh, new PC, I can run a lot more games. The higher frame rate and higher detail is also also another thing that pushed me over. Not ready yet. Push me over the, the the tipping point, I guess you could say. And the, the game runs and looks great on PC. Gotta say. Now my only um, slight, I don't know, it's not even a regret, but I hesitate to to recommend this 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 uh, method of uh, double dipping because the the. Uh, Vessel Hatred, the uh, first DLC, is going to be out in October, and if I really plan to just balance back and forth between my Xbox and PC playing Diablo 4, I'm going to have to buy that thing twice. You know, let's see. Such is life, such is life. Which, you know, I'll talk about at some point. Quite soon, I think, but... Oh. There's something else that's waiting in the wings in Q4 this year, and that's uh, Path of Exile 2, the beta for Path of Exile 2. They've been showing a lot more of that game lately. And, uh, yeah, Diablo 4 is going to have some very stiff competition. Because uh, Path of XL 2 is looking fantastic. Everything they've shown looks excellent. Every single thing they've shown. As someone who has not been a, a huge fan of Path of XL 1 due to just me kind of missing the boat on it and just not, not, not willing to learn how to play the game, it's too much for me. As an entry point, Path of XL 2 looks Looks great. Oh shit. I forgot about the blister. I got poison again. Yeah, not my most favorite combination of enemies in a, in a dungeon. Just a bunch of spiders and those. Those corpulent, exploding fatties. So annoying. Another blister, got here. Dear brother, I'm calling in a family favor. Okay. We've got a spider problem on the farm. I have some paragon points to uh manage. bring a jug of rot gut. do this sober. Okay, okay. I should go down here first. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, case of the burps tonight. Yeah, Vessel Hatred does look quite nice, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna get some stiff competition from uh, Path of Exile 2 a month after Vessel of Hatred comes out. The Path of Exile 2 beta goes live, and this is a cross-platform beta. It's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's just looking fantastic. It's a free-to-play game. It's kind of hard to believe that 
it looks like it should be a a full price game. Like Diablo 4. Be careful. I'm just staying in the, the poison and muck like that. I can just suddenly die quite quickly. Not careful. Oh, that's a dead end, pardon me. Okay, it's um Ooh. Oh Jesus. Oh no! <laughs> too too much poison! Oh god. Oh uh, my uh some of my equipment broke. Okay. Shoot. I must wait. See if I can get away in time. Oh, you made it. Uh, blacksmith, 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 blacksmith. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Should I just do? Let's do a. Tar I don't want to waste money. So I'll repair uh, chest chest armor. Got to repair the boots. Uh, repair this thing. Oh yeah, the, the jewelry is fine. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, just one paragon point. I thought I had a couple stored up. I'll look at these later. Let's get back into it. Die. Okay, I can just keep going that way. Yes, indeed. Yeah, these when these guys explode, it's really bad news. You really gotta be careful. Always gotta be ready to dodge away. Sneaky little blood boils that spawn out of my field of view. Okay, here I was thinking that uh, 
Is it time to fight the boss here? Trolls of the Queen's Den. Okay, so I think I know where it is. It's over this way, maybe? Or over here? Oh, here we go. And blow up since I'm in the bubble of protection. The glyph stone was right top of the corpse. Ah, uh, here's what I gotta do. I gotta find a glyph slot on the uh, paragon board so I can stick in that ire. I just been loving this thing up, but it's not actually on my board yet. Let me hit level 15. I don't know. With the extra XP, like I'm not quite sure what to do. If I do, if I don't use it, I lose it. So, but 15 is the max level, right? Okay. So I can either do another never dungeon, or I can see if there's a hell tide going on. Might want to do a Helltide since I can get some more Grim Favors for the uh, Tree of Whispers. Helltide's going on here. Let me quickly uh, dispose of my loot. Than horseshoes and nails. What do you need? Oops. I want to sell, but I can, I can just scrap salvage. I'll keep my floor chart. Return soon. Nothing's jumping on at me. I mean, it's pretty. Oh, this has some potential. I lose a, I lose a, a gem slot, which sucks. Yeah, this, this, this one's a, this one's got potential. I just have to uh, temper it up. And everything still. Take it to the cultist, all that, all that jazz. But uh, I just want to get back to playing ASAP. So there will probably be a session I'll do when I'm not recording. Well, I'll just go through the loot in this tab. But for now, to kind of finish off today's video. I will uh, maybe do some hell tide, hell tiding. Now this is this is cool. Weapon skins. I'm not. I don't get excited over weapon skins because you really, really have a hard time seeing them in game. <laughs> the free horse armor that was available today. Pretty cool though. Right? Very nice. Alright. The hell time. What else do I gotta say for myself right now? Not a whole lot. I'm just happily. Run away, it is extremely repetitive. Uh, I've just been banging out uh, the, the nightmare dungeons day after day. Like, I, I don't play a whole lot per day, so I don't wear myself out too much. 
That seems to be the story of Diablo 4 still, despite the improvements they've made and the and how it's come over the over the first year of its uh, life after release is that once you get to a certain point the activities that you do now saying it's too repetitive is is not quite what I want to go for I just in a way I, I just wish I could play a season and still engage with the season mechanics while still being able to replay the campaign. I actually do want to replay the campaign at some point because the campaign was great. It really pulled you along from mission to mission. Uh, the downer is though, you know, they put in that skip campaign feature, which is nice. Just like in Diablo 3, you can go straight to the adventure mode if you if you please and dispense with the story altogether. Except this time the story the story campaign is a lot more interesting than it was in Diablo 3. And, you know, once a new season begins, I still want to go through that guided experience of the campaign while still making progress within the season itself. Instead of having to get through the campaign, that's like 20 some odd hours, probably more for, for a guy like me. And then after that, then I can start um, working my way through the season, the season mechanics and the season rewards and all that, all that stuff. <sighs> they have to find a way to uh, integrate both together. So I still got over 30 minutes in the hell time. So we'll just play as far as we can get some goodies. Actually, I shouldn't go back there. Where else can we go? Let's just pick a spot. Pick a chest. I just need a direction. Get off my horse, unfortunately. Blood pox basin. Like I said, I my whole intent was to play a Thorn Barbarian, but I'm shouting a lot. I'm shouting a lot, I'm using a lot of Dust Devils off my double swing and the shouts. So do I really have a Thorn build or what's the deal here? What's the deal? The thorns are almost just like a nice side perk. So we have another, uh, can't afford that. yeah, I can't afford it. I don't know why I tried touching it. Let's get the shrine. Oh, hi. Let's do this event. Quick. Love that.
love it that my shouts are just weaponized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow up your big sacks. How many more waves? Oh boy, another one. <laughs> Rotten Quartz Fiend, man. Finally. Oh, I'm uh. I should spend more of my obols, huh? Wait, how, how much? I still gotta earn. I gotta earn more. Let's go towards uh, this chest. Oh, shit. How dare you? I'm getting uh, smoked by a. Uh, I uh, appreciate that uh, ambush, people. I love even how getting on my horse, I fire off shouts. There's another event or what's the deal here? Oops. Where is he? Oh, it's a goblin. Bag. Let's just walk to my destination. I can just fight along the way. Can I help you boys? Don't fall on me. This new dog is great. like the flame hose. I'm just going to go until I open a good, ch good chest. Yeah, the, the flame goats. Not a fan of at all. Okay, they're at it again, flames.
How much? Oh, 275? Okay, I still gotta do some earning. It's fine. It'll be worth it, hopefully. Whatever, however you describe my build, I have to say I'm enjoying it. I like it. <laughs> I shout and people listen. Oops, I didn't mean to shout extra there. Oh, excessive. There, I don't know what you call it. Alright, let's um it's gonna earn uh, two hundred and seventy five uh what you call it. One thing I should get back, one aspect I should get back on some of my gear is... Actually, it's ready. Oh, what is this? What is the star again? Uh, what I was saying before I interrupted myself was that <laughs> I should get the aspect on my gear that uh, when I use iron skin, it uh, makes me uh, unstoppable. That's really, that's really handy. I that even though I left all that gear on the on the on the ground. Oh, there's a boss. I think I might just get wrecked because my fire resistance is non-existent. Yeah, I hear of that. Yeah, that dog is so useful. Such a big help with grabbing grabbing resources off the ground. I'm almost there. So I hang around. Shoot. now let's uh, open up the uh... I don't have the coin I thought oh pff. what I what oopsies I thought it was uh never mind Two's only five we're almost there we're almost there oh, no 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 I don't know I need, a, I need a key anyway for that one. Sorry, I keep uh, beginning a thought and then uh, losing track of what I was saying. I never thought I would keep finding altars. Well, I haven't found a lot of altars overall. So I actually should be. 
<laughs> that surprise. I shouldn't be that surprised by that. Almost there. Oh, here we go. My last few victims. Hey. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. This guy's tough. Use like a buff. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? Is he is he gone for good? Oh, I thought I could f keep fighting him. I thought I could keep fighting him. The guy who killed me. Oh my goodness, he he laid waste to me. I kind of disappointed myself. I don't have the coin. Oh, and I lost. Oh my god, just as. <sighs> okay, okay. You, you can tell I haven't played a whole lot of uh, Helltides. So I lost. Um, I, can't I lost a bunch of cinders because I died to that boss. That's, that's right. Well, I just died overall, so you lose cinders when you die, right? Oh my goodness. What. What a son of a gun. Come on, enemy density, let's go. Give me give me mobs to kill. here. Yeah, we got 16 minutes to uh, make back my cinders. I just wanted to open that one chest. That's all I wanted to do. What's going on? Oh, jeez. I got too close to the, uh, what do you ever call this? A sandstorm. There we go. One more, one more. Oh shit. Don't die again, please. Thank you. Holy hell. Oftentimes the boss 
is always easier, or the boss is easier than the uh, the gauntlet of guys you have to get through to actually get to the boss. I kind of expect them to give more, give up more stuff. All right, let's just head back to the uh, chest. enemies. More cinders, more cinders. Come on, come on, come on. I thought I had way more, um... Okay, got a worm here, it's perfect. Okay, we're on our way. We're on our way. We still got uh, over 11 minutes. Drop some, uh, drop some of the junkier stuff. That stuff, okay. there.
Where is he? Oh. Where's that shaman? Hiding in plain sight. Come on. <laughs> Okay. No uh, gear out of that uh, chest, huh? Well, it took a long time to be able to open that one chest. Had a bit of a had a setback. Well, the transitions are a little wonky uh, tonight. <laughs> there, are, there are like artifacts when when there are transitions through the portals. Okay, so, uh, got a lot of stuff, the, got a lot of stuff the junk. Overall, I'm quite pleased with this game right now. It's in a good state. I'm looking forward to Vessel of Hatred. I think the reveal they did uh, at the Xbox showcase this week was uh, super strong, very impressive. Really good lineup of uh, stuff. Not just coming out for Xbox, it was coming out for PC, Xbox, even uh, PlayStation. Stuff like this, obviously Diablo. Diablo is um, uh, Vessel of Hatred that's gonna be multi-platform it's not just uh, gonna be exclusive to xbox and pc um but the, some of the first party stuff they showed at xbox showcase was quite nice but back to Diablo 4 look it's in a good enough spot now where i'm actually looking forward to festival hatred i'm looking forward to seeing how the spirit born class plays um what do you guys think about that uh, new class i know there's some disappointment that it's not a traditional sword and board class, such as the Paladin or the Crusader from Diablo 3. I'm withholding judgment, of course. Uh, Spiritborn does look reminiscent of like they're hybridizing an Amazon, a Spearzon in particular with the uh, nature and animal affinity that you get with the druid. All right. They may even add some uh, assassin-like or rogue-like trap abilities, but for sure it's gonna be um, probably like an agile, a melee, but agile class. So spears on. And then to supplement that, you're probably gonna be able to like summon one or two trusty animal companions with that fight by your side they're not going to be uh as plentiful as like being a necromancer and having an army of skeletons following you but you'll you'll have like a st one strong companion one strong animal companion or two that will uh, fight alongside uh with you i think that's going to be the core of that new class um they don't want to a step on the toes too much on the on the druid. You also don't want to rehash too much of that stuff. And um, they don't want to go full agility, a la the rogue, right? So uh, maybe uh, fall somewhere in, in between those two. Let me uh, sell off. <laughs> The stuff so I can pick up the those items that just dropped for me. Uh, here he is. Sample my work. Yes. Yeah, let's clear that stuff out. Oh. We also have uh 
bag here. Treasure bag. Once again, I will peruse these uh, when I'm not recording. So there's not this dead air as I hum and haw over the various items in my, in my uh, possession. But I know for sure, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to fall asleep while I'm, while I'm sorting through my loot. Not anymore. Okay, before I go, let me assign these three Paragon points. Probably not the most uh, engaging content to leave off on. But I, I want to find a glyphs, Glyph slot. And there's one over here, but it's kind of far away. I thought I have passed passed one by on the way to these nodes. There's one over there, over there. Glyphs. Are you serious? I thought there was a glyph slot nearby. Um, looking. Is there a way to highlight the glyph slots on a board. Oh, here we have this one. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. So on the second board, we do have a glyph slot. It's relatively close by to my uh, path that I've built. On the third board, I. Do I see one? Did I already use it? I already used it, right? Yeah, that's one I already used. On the next board, yeah, it's like, oh, over here. Over here, pardon me. What did I gain on the way over there? It's a vulnerable damage and plus 10 strength, and I could also go over here, damage reduction from final enemies. Let's compare that with the one on the second board. Here I could come down here. Oh, resistance. I could use more resistance and this is just, you know, straight physical damage. Okay, this one is enticing. And then around it, there's a tiny little bit of resistance all elements. So maybe I could go over there, grab this and I come down and grab that. I don't have enough to do it in this in one go of course but uh, let's build up more willpower it's intelligence so we go oh it's our is other dexterity or intelligence hmm yeah, let's go dex and we go strength and then, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for the Paragon board. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a break I'm taking in terms of just the uh, Let's Play pre-recorded videos. Uh, I've been playing uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, which I will return to quite soon. Check out the latest episode that was posted just, uh, just earlier today. Episode 6. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've uh, seen uh, in this video and on the channel. I really do appreciate your support. And I will be, yeah, returning to uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters next. And I uh, will probably return to Diablo 4 periodically uh, before uh, the season ends. So if you like what you saw, yeah, stay tuned for more Diablo 4. Until then, take care and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.